Which of these does not belong to the cabbage family? A, broccoli, B, lettuce, C, cauliflower. You've put lettuce. Not a gardener. Thought I'd have a guess. Correct answer is... Well played, step close to home. Chaser has put... Goes also right with lettuce. I think I'm right in saying if it's a member of the cabbage family, it has the word brassica as the first word in its Latin name, and I knew that lettuce didn't. Thank you very much. Here's your next question. <sighs> Which river forms the border between Burma and Laos? A. Irrawaddy, B. Mekong, or C. Yangtze? <laughs> You've put Mekong. Again, another guess, I'm afraid, but it sounded most likely. Correct answer is... Well played with Mekong. Very good. Step close to home. Chase has put... Goes wrong with Irrawaddy. Well, Irrawaddy is the longest river in Burma. I know the Mekong goes through an awful lot of countries, starts in Tibet. I didn't think it hit Burma, but clearly it did. Wow, great answer. Here's your next question. What name is given to jewellery with gemstones set so close together that no metal is visible? A. Pave. B. Baguette. C. Solitaire. Ooh. Now then, you've put... Solitaire. Phil, what made you put that? Well, the other two are foods, I think. So, that's the only one that is in the food, I think. Get a Pave in France and a Baguette in France. Hey? <laughs> it's the shape of the diamond, Phil. Correct answer is... Oh, well. Harve. So close together, you can't see him. Solitaire's one single diamond, and baguette is the cut of the diamond. Looks well, like a baguette. You learn something new every day. There ah, we go. Staying where you are. Chaser has put. Let's hope that's the turning part of the game. You're looking at me as though I've ever bought jewellery for anybody in my life. <laughs> I've seen you in your sequins and your sparkly bits at the weekend, love. <laughs> Here's the next question. <sighs> Who won the first ever Critics' Choice Award at the Brits? A. Adele. B. Florence and the Machine. C. Ellie Goulding. Oh, dear. Yeah. You've put... Yeah, you've got to go there, really, yeah, haven't you? Yeah, so. Yeah. yeah. Correct answer is... Well, it's got to be, it can't be any other, surely. Absolutely, step close to home. What a tremendous song like that, that girl is. Uh, Chaser has put... Goes wrong with Florence and the Machine. Good for us, game opens up again. It was too big. They normally go to somebody, not necessarily that's a massive seller, but goes to somebody that is a bright prospect. Yeah. I thought Adele was too big for that question. Extraordinary artist, though. Extraordinary, yes. Unbelievable. Here's your next question. You're doing well. Who did Oscar Wilde define as someone who knows the price of everything and the value of nothing? A, a cynic. B, a miser. C, a pedant. You've put a cynic. Yeah, it's in yeah. the back of my mind somewhere, I think. Yeah, correct answer is... Yep, yeah, cynic is right. Step close to home. Chase is put. Also goes with a cynic and remains five behind. Yeah. You know what they say, Phil? It's a five-question shootout. <laughs> Here's the next question. <sighs> what name is given to the leaves of a palm tree? A, blades, B, fronds, C, needles. You've put fronds. What's a frond? It's a, it's a sort of feathery leaf, I think. Is it? I think so. Not have you guessed this? I have guessed this, yes. <laughs> to go through with seven grand, is it the right answer? Correct answer is... Could have easily gone for 35 if we have. Yeah. Look at the draw. Yeah. Goes right with Franz. Brilliant. <laughs> Fell right into my trap, didn't you, Phil? Given the, given the team a bit of overconfidence now. Um, <laughs> I, I had a great game against Karen and an absolutely abysmal one against you. That's sometimes how it goes. Yeah. Well played, Phil. I said you were a good quizzer. I look forward to playing you in the final yeah. chase. You'll need some support. Absolutely. Phil, well played, mate. You're through to the final chase. 